What's up everybody, uh, this is my DIY racing arcade cabinet, uh, which I call Racer's Paradise. Um, I thought I'd just do a quick overview of the whole thing and um, instead of writing a bunch about it, just show you what it's all about. Uh, it's Xbox 360 and PC based. Uh, in fact, the controls, the dashboard is completely wired just to an Xbox 360 controller, so the PC and the Xbox 360 both uh, just see it as a 360 controller. Um, let's see, what else? The sides are covered in carbon fiber vinyl. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but um, it's not the most durable thing in the world, but it does get the job done and it looks nice and it's cheaper than laminate, so I dig it. Uh, what else? Uh, in the back, we have brake lights, which do work when you hit the brakes. Um, down here we have Sega style pedals, which I kind of prefer, and uh, there's a footrest for when you're not using the brake and gas at the same time. Um, on the underside of the base, uh, there's a subwoofer, which is nice, just kind of gives you that engine feel when you're driving a car. Uh, there's two speakers more towards the back, which uh, add a little bit of extra sound, which is nice. And there's a big shaker motor, so that's wired up to the Xbox 360 controller rumble output. And so any game that has rumble, you uh, get the shake, you know, the seat shakes very nicely, and it's kind of a cool effect. Uh, what else? Uh, on the side, we have a box attached that uh, houses the PC. The PC's right here, so that kind of gets that up and out of the way. Uh, we have our sequential shifter, and we have an eight-way digital joystick, which um, does a few different things, but mainly it's used for the menus. Um, let's see, let me just uh, get in and show you what each control does. On the front of the steering wheel, you have your basic A, X, B, and Y, just like on the face buttons on our Xbox 360 controller. Uh, this button here is left bumper, the horn is right bumper, uh, this is L3 and this is R3, the radio button is back, and the start button is obviously start. Um, the sequential shifter is also wired to L3 and R3, and then this is the A button, this is the B button, and this joystick is wired to the Xbox 360 D-pad, and I use this, like I said, mostly for navigating the menus. Um, down here we have the green button, which is the Xbox 360 guide button, which I mainly just use that for turning the Xbox 360 on and off. Underneath here you can't see it, but there's a USB switch, and that allows me to switch between the controller being hooked up to the PC or the Xbox 360. Uh, if I flip it over to the Xbox 360 and then hold the button, I can turn the Xbox 360 on from out here and not have to mess with it. Um, you have your H shifter here, and uh, this switch right here is a three-way switch, and when you flip it up, the H shifter acts as the A, B, X, and Y buttons, and that's for Daytona USA on the Xbox 360 because that game, uh, I happen to like that version of the game, and the controls are not remappable, so I wanted to be able to use the real shifter on that version of the game, so I you know basically set up this switch so when you flip it up it's a b x and y when you flip it to the middle the shifter is off and when you flip it down it's uh the it's wired to up down left and right on the d-pad and uh i like to i did that just so that uh i could also use the face buttons i use that when i'm um doing shift controls on the pc so that i have the maximum amount of buttons if i need to use them for something else and having a three-way switch, being able to shut the shifter off is really nice because this H shifter doesn't really have a neutral position. You can kind of put it here, but if you forget to put it there and you have it in a position, it's actually going to be pressing a button and it could cause some issues when you're trying to play a game. So that's why I think that's pretty good. Um, so the front end is LaunchBox, or I guess you could say the uh, big box mode of LaunchBox. Um, it's pretty easy to navigate, actually pretty easy to set up. Um, not every game that I want to put on here is on here yet. I'm going to be adding games as time goes on. Uh, but you can kind of get the idea of how it works. You know, you just navigate and then press the A button, um, 
press the B button to go back and whatever. Uh, one cool thing about LaunchBox is it has controller automation, so I can actually, uh, if I hold the radio button, and then uh, I can press the X button and that'll do volume up, and I can press the green button, that'll do volume down, so I don't have to mess with any kind of volume control, uh, at least not on the PC. So yeah, that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.